Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a check-in on the current energies. So watch for whenever time you're watching this or this could be something that's going to happen future in a couple weeks from now, in a couple months from now, because sometimes these energies that I'm pulling on are not current. They are what is to come. They are uh, like a looking glass where we can open a window into a new dimension or a new timeline, but we have not yet opened a portal to go through it. So think of this as a check-in on where we are, and we may add an element of looking glass to it. Uh, let's just see what we get. We are headed towards a Libra Mercury retrograde. Libra is a lot of balancing, energies needing to come into balance, things that have been unspoken, needing to come out into the light, that sort of thing. Um, conclusions and uh, epiphanies. So we have emotions are running high and we have be bold and make the first move. So if you have had some sort of, I'm getting a lot of this is around relationships. So whether you need to make a clean exit or you want to pursue, it's uh, either way, there's going to be strong emotion attached to your decision. So if you're a twin flame, if you're a soulmate, if you are, it, it doesn't matter. If you feel a very strong resonance to this message, it's for you. It's about something that either needs to have a new start or something that needs to end. Um, two different messages for two different collectives. I'm going to ask more about the collective that is needing to be bold and make a move towards your person. So let's ask who's guiding you at this time. Who is guiding the light workers who are wanting to have courage to move towards someone? We have Quan Yin, care and compassion. So it says, offer a helping hand, do what is right for everyone involved. Quan Yin is rules, um, I'm getting heart chakra opening here. So the heart is open. You could actually be feeling some physical symptoms from not coming forward yet to your person um, because it's something where the energy, <laughs> there's something about your connection to this person that is going to help others. So when Quan Yin is about offering a helping hand, being a healer, being someone who is of service in a big way in the earth in general. So your mission with this person is what is pushing this forward because it's about, yes, you have a connection. Yes, you have love for this person, but you also have something that you're meant to do together, meant to accomplish together, the very twin flame energy. And let's ask who's with the people who need to make an exit. And to be honest with you, this could be the same person. So a lot of what has been coming up lately is ending karmic cycles and moving towards your purpose, moving towards your happiness. So I feel like you could be the same person. <laughs> uh, so take what resonates. Here is the Miriam, sacred vision. These are the twin flame angels. They are guiding you to, interesting that they're guiding you to do something, to walk away from something, to make an exit. Uh, likely because of the message that I just got, you're meant to actually pursue a connection that's much more powerful and deep, that is going to unlock more towards your awakening. Um, choose to forgive in order to heal. So I'm getting, this is a forgiveness of yourself. It's a forgiveness of the time it has taken you to see the truth of your situation and uh, to be bold and, and rely totally on your intuition because what I'm getting is that on the surface, nothing is wrong. On the surface, everything is... Uh, something that shouldn't bother you so much i'm hearing it should be easier this is the person who on paper looks really good for me to be with um they have this image that really complements my image this is a lot about how things look and sacred vision so knowing that what you're actually meant for is something much deeper and higher vibrationally uh, because if you're watching this video you're drawn in to lightworker content 
you're meant to surround yourself with those on your frequency that are uh, a very healing nature, healing, depth, um, purpose, awakening, uh, ascension, all of these types of things. So when there is someone who only just seems to be on the surface a match, that is not enough for you because these are 3D types of paradigms we are dismantling and we have to cut cords knowing and having faith that we're meant for more than just a surface connection. Um, so I'm going to pull one more on this because it is surface. So I want to get to more depth. Okay. You have Jesus and mother Mary coming through. Okay. There's a lot here with these particular, um, ascended master here coming through love and peace and forgiveness. Again, we got a repeating message. So it's about, um, with love and light detaching with love, letting yourself go from this person because I feel or situation. It does not have to be a person. They're saying it could be a job. It could be a, t a very tough decision that you have to make to walk away from something. Um, it's, it's, you're being drawn to your mission. And with this, I'm feeling you are <laughs> mother and father healing is happening here. So there are some wounding, there's some triggers from your upbringing, from your childhood, possibly a father wound, a mother wound uh, that's keeping you bonded to a situation, to a relationship. It's a trauma bond. So what's happening here with these two coming up is you're doing inner child healing. You're reparenting yourself. You're giving yourself the love that you possibly did not receive in the way that you needed to be, it needed to, to, you needed to receive it. So you're healing yourself. As you heal yourself, you start to know what you deserve. You start to feel into um, the type of connections that are fulfilling to you, that are pushing you, that are about soul growth, that are about awakening others. And this is um, coming up over and over again, I'm hearing. It's likely something that's running on a loop that you're meant for more than this, that you need to heal, that you're playing too small, that there's um, something keeping you trauma bonded. And we don't fundamentally in the fifth dimension, we do not connect with others based on our mutual wounds that we share. We have healed these wounds and we are now moving into the next stage where there are no karmic contracts and there are only soul contracts and they are of a much higher vibration. You will just innately feel the difference. So um, very strong messages coming through. Let's ask the energy around the divine masculines at this time. Um, we are, I, I like to ask about divine masculine and divine feminine separately, but just take whichever message resonates for you because like I said recently, the energies have been very similar. So we'll just see what happens today. Tell me about divine masculine. I almost said feminine. It's like there's just, they're so, so similar. Angel of strength. You're getting the strength to move into this next cycle. You're getting the strength through. I'm, I'm seeing everyone's chakra system lit up. I'm seeing the Kundalini rising. Uh, all of these activations, the light codes are showing me DNA, your strands of DNA that are being activated and uh, shifted into crystalline frequency. It's, uh, it's spreading. So this strength is also building as a result. There's so much focus on self-love these days. And I find self-confidence is also so vitally important. Confidence to be misunderstood, confidence to be disliked, confidence to pursue your calling above all else and know that um, whatever it is that you feel is valid because you feel it. Okay, that's for masculines or feminines. Let's get another energy card for feminines. Where are the feminines? right now. 
goddess of the moon. Feminines are getting a lot of these messages about how intuitive you are. So I feel like the feminine energy, if you're in a twin flame connection, for example, even if you are not in a twin flame connection, but you're very tapped in to the Schumann resonance, to the frequency rising in the earth, because in my readings, I do many personal readings for masculines in a masculine body who resonate with being a divine feminine energetically. So really this is for, again, either one that you resonate with. If you feel very uh, much of the energies of the earth as it rises in frequency, you are getting downloads from not only your astral guides and the light codes, but you're also getting moved physically on the earth. You're getting uh, nudges to relocate. You're getting nudges to spread uh, different messages. Different areas of the crystal grid feel lit up to you. You're likely very in tune with divine feminine energy. Your intuition in the astral is extremely strong and you're more spiritually focused versus physically focused is a clue that you resonate more with being feminine energy. So your intuition is really strong, really on point. I like, likely you're feeling strength rising from the masculines and you're feeling this shift that the masculines have had into more of a, a healed place, whether you are in contact with your twin or not. Um, just the masculines in general energy is rising. We've been getting this for a while. So you're picking up on this. You're picking up on the strength. You're having the sacred vision, this um, Miriam here. Your third eye is very active. Let's get more. Okay, these wanted to come out. We have fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. You're feeling communication is coming. I feel uh, the feminines are likely, because these are both similar colors here with the blue background. You're going to be, uh, some readers like to say, you're going to be getting communication from your masculine counterpart there is something that wants to be said and you will feel this energetically whether or not the person reaches out to you in the physical if you're in communication because this is very strong there's something that's bubbling up to the surface because the emotions are running too high it can't be suppressed and whenever there's noise in my apartment and i'm delivering a message is for a reason because uh, there's a lot of psychic attacks and um, things that come in to prevent this type of communication to reach you because it is so vital that twin flames come together, that light workers and star seeds are on mission. And knowing this fully and having 3D, so called physical world communication. Um, you don't necessarily need it if you're very intuitive, but it is also nice to get uh, because we are living a physical existence. And so having physical um, messages, phone calls, texts, that kind of thing um, about appreciation, how appreciative, uh, you have probably been more inspiring than you know to this person and helping them build strength. So know that this is probably the feeling that wants to be conveyed in some way in the physical world, which really, we're not really vibrating at 3D in the physical world. We're vibrating at a higher frequency, but I, until we have a better way of describing it, I hope you know what I'm saying. I'm going to pull a tarot card on this fifth chakra and see what this is specifically about. Um, we did get appreciation. I'm getting communicating some kind of message um, confirming what you have already known to be true or possibly mentioned in the past uh, that someone is going to come forward to confirm that you were correct. And let's see. Tell me about fifth chakra. We have... Okay, we have four of swords and we have nine of pentacles. So this is about someone who has been not in communication with you for 
possibly a while, feeling the connection very strongly, even though you have not been together. Uh, this is also something, um, because this is mostly geared on relationships, I'll keep it on relationships, but I'm also getting that if this is a situation that is not a relationship, but that is about a job or that is about a um, family situation, there is so much that some masculine or feminine, I'm getting it's the masculines here, masculines have come to a very, uh, very clear revelation in their private time um, when they're contemplating, when you're in deep thought, when you're in meditation, when you're in your own energy without any influence around you, you keep coming back to knowing what is meant for you. You keep coming back to knowing uh, this is likely if it's your divine feminine, you know it's your divine feminine that's meant for you when you're by yourself without any influence. You know that it's meant for, this could also be your own independence and your own freedom from what maybe you're stuck in. And until you can, un when you can release yourself, um, there's a lot of energy around masculines releasing something from their energy, whether it's releasing a toxic connection, releasing a toxic pattern of thinking. Swords are about thinking. So if you are constantly feeling one way, I'm getting a lot of joy, a lot of passion, a lot of uh, awe, and um, again, appreciation with this energy here. Appreciation for someone who is living the way that you would like to live. Uh, you want to express this. So whether or not you want to embody this yourself, which I feel is part of it, you want to embody this sense of freedom, this sense of liberation from the matrix, or you want to reach out to somebody who is embodying it already that is inspiring you. So a final advice for a um, twin flame union energy because we did get the Miriam which speaks to twin flame union alignment and okay one card please we did get be bold and make the first move so there is something around action taking here uh, confidence is your key to success. So confidence building, strength, again, more strength and empowering yourself. It's a repeating message. Go where you feel you're going to be seen as uh, the most powerful, empowered version of yourself. And that could actually be completely alone without anybody because sometimes as a light worker, you have picked up on much energy around you over a long period of time that has gone to snuff out your light versus and be supportive. Um, expect powerful change. This can happen with parent inner child trauma. Uh, you can reach a point where you just feel nobody has your back. And no, because um, it's something you have done subliminally, you have attracted people to you that you feel you have to prove something to um, because you had to prove something growing up or something like this is what I'm getting. It's an old pattern, an old loop that needs to be closed. Um, expect powerful change. So this is a new moon eclipse energy getting the feeling like everything is about to change and you are going to be uh, the one doing the changing by simply listening to your intuition and getting out of your own way. So with that, I hope you have had a message that resonates for you on your journey in this and I'm sending you all much love and light. If you would like a personal reading, please book through the links that are in the description box. Uh, or email me and I have uh, availability starting in October. So I, um, with that, hope you have a beautiful weekend. Take care.